Hi everyone, welcome to Python Learning Series for Network Engineers. This is the seventh video on how to do FortiGate API automation using Python. In the previous video, we have seen how to take configuration backup from Python and how to run this script from background without keeping the terminal open, trigger an email about the backup status, whether it is successful or failed. And we were saving even the log file here. You can see the log file here, backup.log to a storing the backup status here you can see if it is failed it will send the error code and it will say a message saying that uh, backup failed and if it is successful it will trigger a syslog message saying that backup successful and you can see the timestamp also here in the backup file now in this video we will see how to send configuration to to get firewall from python using post method so before we move into python we'll see how this happens in ui so let me just create an address here i'll give the name ip underscore zero one ip address i'll give one slash 32 and if you want to see the api you can click on api preview here we should be able to see the API data which is going to get passed to the device. I'll copy this. We'll use this for reference. And before sending the configuration, I'll open the network inspect here. And if we click on OK. You should be able to see a post method let us just have a look into that post method yeah here you can see a post method and it is sending some data and here we can see the same data what we have seen in the UI the API preview so so from UI also it is passing this particular data so if you want to send multiple IP address objects what we can do here I'll create a list give a name IP2 and IP address also will change to IP02 and let me copy this and we'll try it from Postman now this was the script uh, which we tested earlier to take configuration backup here you can see the method was get now what we can do is let us take a copy of that I'll give the name post address save it I'll change the method as post here I already have the authorization uh, headers added you can see here the API token uh, all these details I have explained in the first and second videos so I'll add the complete playlist URL in the description and notification here this is my api key which i'm passing and in this case the url has to be from here let me copy this url and here for sending the data we need to go to body then click on raw and before creating it I'll delete the entry which I created earlier let me copy this content put it here and I'll 
send it to the device here I'm getting 200 OK response that means it is successful we can verify it in UI here I have now two objects created now if you want to initiate it from Python we can click on scripts I have selected Python and request I'll copy this I'll create new Python file I'll call this 05 and I'll paste the content and let me just try it from here so before that we need to go and delete the previous entries so from python also we are able to configure now we'll do certain customization now we will see how to send it uh, from python using the string method so we'll send the configuration string and uh, then we'll see how to send it uh, from a list then we'll keep this configuration in a json file we'll see how to read it and send it and uh, then uh, we'll take this input as uh, input from user and send it to the device we'll see all these options now this is not mandatory here since we are using api key and here if you see the content is almost same whatever we have passed here postman is adding slash n because all these are new lines now what we can do is instead of sending this we will send it as a plain string so I'll delete it completely and since this contains multiple lines what we need to do is we need to add this into a three quotes so so that it can accept multiple line string so let me just put it in this way now I'll try sending to the device before that we need to go and delete the previous entry I'll try running it now so it is successful so here I'll give it title so here we are directly passing as a string I just comment it here pass data as a string I'll comment this as well and now we'll see the second method like we will pass it as a list Python list so that I'll create a list L1 and copy and put it here and if you try to directly pass this data it won't accept so we can just verify it here if I pass it as it is 
request will not be able to identify this because it is python list data so we need to convert this into the request uh, json format so what we can do is i'll import json here i'll create a variable payload so you can give any name here it is just a variable payload equals we'll use json dot so here from python we are converting this into a json so we'll use dumps so we'll get a string output here and now we will pass this payload here Okay, let us try running this. When this is successful, so we are able to see two IP entries here. Now we have seen two methods: one passing as a string, and uh, next is passing from list. We converting this into JSON and sending to the device. Let me comment this as well. then the third method uh, we will create a json file and we will try reading it from that 03 read from json file so for that uh, we need to create a json file i will copy the content new file address config.json yeah, this is a valid json file so we will go to the script now here we will use with open and I'll give the file name the yeah, address config.json we'll be opening it in a read mode and we'll call it f and then here we were just doing the dumps method here so similar to that payload Uh, the file f dot read okay let us try printing payload first So this is a payload which it is passing we are getting 500 error because i already have the entry available so let me just delete it i'll comment the print statement and now it is successful So it is creating the object now we'll see how we can take this as an input from user for configuring so i'll comment this as well we'll call this 04 user input. And here for configuring 
the IP address what we will do we will ask user first uh, number of IPs they need to configure then we will ask the name and IP address because if you see the syntax here these are the two values we need name and submit here in this script I am not going to do any kind of validation where the user is giving valid IP and a valid name and those things may be uh, you can customize based on the requirement this is just a basic script for learning purpose so I'll just create a variable here first and we'll ask user to enter the number of IPs they need to configure so I'll call this number equal it is going to be an integer so I'll give int then input here inside input I'll ask enter the number of IPs needed yeah, it will prompt to the user and I'm converting this into integer here itself so the entry whatever user is giving here if user tries to give any string it will throw an error here so we are not handling any errors also here so consider this as a very basic script so and imagine here user gives three number of ips net three then we need to iterate it three times right so what we can do is four address object is just a name so we'll give in and range range what we'll do we'll give one two number plus one so that it will ask user each time like enter the uh, address subject one two three it will go in sequential so that's why we, we are starting from one and here we will initialize a dictionary because in that dictionary we will add the user input in each iteration so address dictionary equal I initialize the dictionary and then here uh, if user gives the name we will take that as this input and after that we will ask user to enter the subnet so address dictionary of name it should be the same api name so we need to use this here so I'll give the same name here and that is also going to be an input from user so we'll ask user to give the details this will give formatted string and a new line and then we'll ask the user enter the name of object and here each time this will be changing this will be incrementing so what we can do we will add that number here it is object now similar to that we will add for subnet as well IP of address object so we are taking these two inputs from user so for each iteration we will be getting input from user and then we need to frame this dictionary and once we have the dictionary we 
will create a final list so I'll create a list here we'll call it as L1 and there is going to be a list and in each iteration I'll append the address of address dictionary into that so L1 dot append and address dictionary now before sending this to device I'll comment this part we can just try executing this and verify the output I'll print L1 so I'll give the number 2 I'll give and here it is asking enter the number of address of uh, enter the name of address object 1 I'll give underscore 0 1 slash step 2 so now it is asking for the object 2 so here it is framing the dictionary and it is creating a list so now we can pass this list to our request and for passing this list we have seen the method here we need to use we need to create a payload here we need to convert this into JSON and let me uncomment this we will verify in firewall whether object is there or not we will delete it if the object is not there so let us just try running it I'll give one so here we can see we have received success 200 yeah just created now let me try running it again this time I'll give two We'll give the IP object name as IP underscore zero two and IP address one dot one dot one dot two slash thirty two and object two IP underscore zero three one dot one dot three slash thirty two. Yeah, we have received uh, success two hundred. We'll verify it here. So now we have three objects created here and here the 40 gate version what I'm using is a trial version so because of that I don't have a HTTPS connection to it uh, you can see the URL what I'm using is HTTP so in case if you're if you're facing some issue uh, when you initiate HTTPS connection so the possibility could be the SSL validation error so to handle that what you can do here for example here I have one more script this is one of the Cisco REST API example where I am initiating connection to Cisco router with HTTPS and here I am handling it using from request package so insecure request warning we can just comment this out but I would request to have a valid certificate in all the firewalls so if you're getting some SSL validation error what you can do you can just give these two lines so this will disable the SSL warning then you can give verify false during the API request so here in case of HTTP connection we are just passing only the payload headers and the method and in case of HTTPS you need to pass verify true or false and uh, then you need to handle the HTTPS now let us go back to the script so in this way uh, we can send configuration to device in multiple ways one is we are directly sending it as a string second we have seen how to send it as a list so list we are converting this into JSON using JSON.dumps 
then we have seen how to read a json file external json file and send using a python 2 for the database and the method what we used is post method and here we have seen how to get input from user and configure in the next video we will see how to read a csv file and send the configuration so here i have a csv file which i used for even the cla automation videos so we will be using that if you open this this contains the username and ip address so we will take these details from this csv file and configure it i hope this video was helpful thanks for watching see you in the next video